What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Team Home Circus live video. Today, we're going over a brand new deck that's getting rebacked. You know, Colossus is now at one. Uh, you know, shout out to the ban list. Uh, they did drop Saturday here, effective today, which is really sick. It's going to be the deck I'm going to be taking to locals. So, I guess you guys will see some of that videos coming up in the upcoming weeks. Um, before we dive into over like, comment, subscribe, it's going to be Thunder Dragon. I guess you guys can see Thunder Dragon Hawk in the deck. Shocker. With the runic cards here, so you don't have to play the runic card, it does take up 17 slots in your deck. You can replace that with shifter and other stuff. I'll mention that in the deck. Uh, but just gonna be showing it off. This is one of my favorite decks of all time. You know, the cards are really cool, they look absolutely crazy, and uh yeah, I'm really excited to play it. So to start off, we're playing the three dark. Every deck is gonna be playing this. If it's a thunder dragon deck, you know, it's gonna let you let your search. Uh, I guess it searches for itself, and when you banish it, uh, you can get to add one. Thunder Dragon card from your hand. So I guess what you're normally going to be dumping this and then banishing it with one of your Bestial cards. And then, of course, you're going to get the Search, which is going to be always nice. And then you have, like, the Roar or the Hawk, uh, which is going to allow you to play for your stuff. So we're going to play also the 3 Roar. You could debatably play this at 2. Um, we're going to be playing it at 3 right now, you know, wanting to see the most consistency. You can discard this card, add to your hand one Thunder Dragon card that is banished or in your graveyard except itself. Um, if the card is banished or sent to your field to the graveyard, um... You can summon one Thunder Dragon monster from your deck in defense position. You know, also a really nice card to you know, summoning out. You are going to see that these this deck does summon a lot from your uh, deck. Uh, it swarms the field a lot as well, and which is really cool. And then you want to play the one Hawk. Um, so you can discard this card, plus one of your ones. The same thing with this. It's up to self. This card is banished or sent from the field to the graveyard. You can shuffle any number of cards from your hand. You're not going to really activate that effect um into the field then draw the same number of cards so it lets you like remill your stuff if you have like double copies of those uh those um my bad those runic cards or if you have like numerous copies of other stuff in hand you don't really want to activate but you have like a nice little mill again it doesn't come up that often which why we're playing only at one but it can come up in the grind game especially when you're going through a bunch of your runic spells then we are playing the two dragon matrix this is just going to be for consistency wise alongside the three copies of a batterman solar so it's going to be one of your you know one card stomp st starters uh, alongside another card so like this is good like, i guess there's really no one card starters um but in your deck you're going to have numerous stuff you can play to let you get into things um so like this plus a bestial is essentially your full combo and you're going to be doing this dumping that banishing with your bestial um, this is going to summon out and then you can just go for your play. That way you'll summon out a copy of your token, token and a link spider. Cause we did lose the, um, link Krivo, unfortunately with this deck. And then you can go into a copy of your, uh, IP, or you can go right into a copy of Appalooza with four, uh, negates. And then you'll be able to trigger, um, and get your summon of this. Well, this will then trigger, uh, summoning one of these out or adding this to hand and you activate, summon it back. And then you get to your Colossus. So you have Appalooza Colossus on just two cards. It's really nice. Then we are playing the Chaos Creator for the last Chaos card. Um, this is going to be for your grind game. You know, being able to banish two cards, summon it out. It triggers the effect of the Titan uh, as well. Getting like, some really cool shuffle backs, letting you have some plays. And of course, just being a big body. That's it for the Thunder lineup. You know, very standard for the Thunder stuff. You guys have never seen it. I wanted to explain the cards a little bit. Um, the only two that I can activate is just going to be the this one as well as these two during your opponent's turn. So important if you do have, for example, the Titan on the field and you want to trigger it to be able to pop cards, you have to have those two. Um, now for the Bistial cards, you are playing the two Lubellion, the one Magnemoth, the one Swordnir, the one Druid's Firm, and the one Baldrake. What's really cool about this is that they are level sixes, so you can, you know, vary it into different level six or rank six lines if you want to. You can go for the Beatrice line to be able to FDK if you wanted to as well, which is a really cool option. Um, but with these cards, you know, they'll trigger all their effects of the um, of the three Thunder Dragons, as well as Baldrake alongside any of them does let you trigger the effects. Like so Baldrake actually is really useful in the deck because if you just leave it on the field as an interruption, you have like another one of these on the field you can actually pop one and then that's going to be triggering their effects to send it to graveyard and then they'll be able to do a bunch of things as well um which is really cool getting you like an extra form of interruption um in that case and then of course the rest of the bestials are the bestials we all know how it is you want to be able to search and like this gives you essentially uh six copies of the bestials as well as the is going to be really nice you could bump this up to three if you wanted to if you were not playing the runic cards oh uh, you probably would be playing it at three um but Unfortunately, you know, we just want to be able to condense the deck as much as possible with those runa cards. 
So for the other spells that are not the Runics, we are playing the Thunder Dragon Fusion, the One Instant Fusion, the Regained, and as well as the Beast. Uh, Beast is most definitely cuttable. I just really like the another form of interaction with it. You know, a lot of times you'll end up on like Appalooza, Thunder Dragon Colossus. If you have a Bestial in the hand, you can then go for like the Beast. Um, then if, like obviously you have discards as well that you can discard for like your um, your copies of the Hugin. So let's say you already have the regains or you already have the beast in your hand. You can discard the regain in your hand to be able to get your effects. Really, whatever you want to. There's lots of different variants that you can do, um, which is really cool with the discard. Instant fusion is because of the fact that the Titan does require a fusion monster on the field. Therefore, you can just play the Kamari attack, which is one here. And then also it lets you go into the copy of uh, SP Little Knight easier as well, which is really cool. And then Thunder Dragon Fusion, of course, is just Thunder Dragon Fusion. Now for the runic cards, this is very standard, playing the double copies of Fountain, the triple copies of Tip, triple copies of Slumber, triple copies of Flashing Fire, triple copies of Freezing Curses, and the triple copy of Destruction. We are not playing the Smithing Storm as well as the Dispelling. I don't think it's really needed in this deck. Um, you could absolutely cut these cards if you wanted to play like Shifter in this deck. It can be really good as well. There's different variants that you can play. You can definitely bump out Lubelion, play Shifter, play other cards, maybe playing a heavier... Uh, Vistial package, you know, having some hand traps thrown in there as well can be uh, definitely an option. But for us, we're going to be choosing to focus on the runic cards because we want to get that additional draws and just cycle through those cards and getting the most power that we can. Board breakers are also going to be really good this format, I believe, um, because of the fact that there early are no Omni Gates anymore. Uh, but like this is going to be a pretty standard 40 card deck. You know, this is going to be no hand traps. So it does struggle a little bit more going second. Um, but hopefully the runic cards are going to be able to do that for us, you know, pick apart the board slowly and uh, let us get what we really need to. Now for the extra deck, we have the one copy of Colossus. You are back. Welcome back. I wonder how long you're going to stay. Um, and then we do have the double copies of Titan. This is kind of like your board breaker cards. Uh, obviously this is part of your end board. I think we're going to be seeing this in a lot of end boards, but potentially we are not going to. Uh, we shall see. The Kamari attack for the copy of Instant Fusion there. Then for the runic cards, we are playing the two Hugin as well as the one Gary. Um, you could play some XYZ's little fours if you wanted to. I don't think it's really good in the deck because of the fact that you kind of just want to uh, to like link away into better stuff. You don't really want to XYZ into like Dweller or Baguska, really whatever you really want to. But it is an option if you wanted to as well. Uh, but that's really it for the fusions. You just want to add back your cards as much as possible. Um, and it doesn't really hurt having a dark um with like a level six as well which as the bestials or the copies of the uh the roar then for the links we are playing the link spider this is simply just for your copy of batamir and solar your ip mask granted a lot of times you'll end up leaving a copy of like a roar on the field then you could like ip go into it you know get your effects or even hawk if you want to be able to add back more cards then we have the double sp uh this card's absolutely crazy you know we can pretend that we are playing the OCG and they hit it to two. It doesn't really matter because we can still play two of them. Um, you don't really need any more than two. You could play Unicorn if you wanted to instead as a budget option. It does work kind of the same way. You just need another body on the field. And then we also are playing the Appalooza alongside the Underworld Goddess. Um, this is just kind of deal with purely, purely to get delicious to two. Therefore, we're going to be seeing more representation of it. Um, so I'm assuming that's going to be seen. And then for the last two cards, we're playing the Chaos Angel because four plus six equals ten. And then we are playing the Typhon as well for those going second boards. Uh, so there are different variants that you can play with this. Obviously, if you wanted to play uh, more of your Runic cards, if you want to play more Hand Traps, you can definitely cut down, you know, with those cards. And you could play a Rank 6. You could play the um, the, the Dragon one if you wanted to, to search or to summon, really, whatever you really want to. Um, this is really always up to you guys. You could just cut this for a copy of Unicorn as well, but I didn't think that Unicorn alongside SP was really useful. Therefore, we're not really playing it. You could play Apple, uh, Access Code, but a lot of the times, like if you already have your Appalooza, it's already burned through the stuff. Your chances are you're not going to have another summon of it. Uh, but I do think that this card is going to be hit on the next ban list myself. I kind of want to announce that now, so make sure that you guys have your copies. Uh, don't be spending all that on the, the Starlights um, if you don't already have them. Regardless, hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to see more content like this. I hope you guys enjoyed. You know, the deck may change significantly through the upcoming format. You know, we are going to be playing different cards. But hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to see more content like this. Stay safe. Peace.